picking up no. debris from no. his yard and throwing it over a six foot fence. And he was a little guy over onto my side. Welcome to the Big Dane Podcast. I'm your host, Dana Trimborn, and in this podcast, find the connection in the weird experiences that we all share. Listen to new episodes on Tuesdays wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, friends. In this week's episode, I'm chatting with Kristen Piquel from Conchi. Listen to her weird and interesting neighbor stories. Find out what happens when Mr. B tries to be a good neighbor and yet ruins the relationship. (laughs) Welcome, Kristen. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me on my first ever podcast. Yeah, I know. This was a quick win is what I'm going to call it. Pretty cool how we met. Yeah. Yeah. We um, I just just briefly. Yeah, we met at a flower party that my neighbor was having. Another neighbor. Another neighbor was having. And And, realized I lived up the street. (laughs) Yeah, just by chance. So um, before we get into it all, just tell the listeners a little bit about yourself, who you are, where you're from. So I'm Kristen. Um, Yes, it's Pickel, but if you see my name, everyone thinks it's Pickle. So if you do call me Pickle, I will respond. Um, I'm in Conchi now for 10 years, but... Been PA my whole life. Did a little Jersey Shore action. I love the beach. Like I said, I love the mountains. I love mm. nature. And that's kind of why I got took a hobby of flowers and turned it into a full-time business. I love that. So I'm now a full-time wedding florist, which is crazy to see what's happened. And um, yeah, did corporate for 10 years, which I don't know how I could have myself in a cubicle for 40 hours a week (laughs) so yeah it's been like um took my hobby to a business and here we are I love that yeah I feel like a lot of people are doing that they're just tired of tired corporate they want to do their own thing too many hours sitting on a computer no thank you but then now I'm in flowers constantly (laughs) so it's beautiful but there's a lot more you like it more Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's great um Let's do those weird questions. (laughs) So what is a weird superstition that you have? It's funny when you asked me that earlier. It's like, I guess my only thing, I I was an athlete. I didn't really do, I saw a lot with athletes and like teams I did, you know, wear sports bra, this same one every game, brush teeth before the game. Brush teeth before the game. Like there were, I saw, like I played lacrosse. I saw the girls do it. I wasn't anything in sports. But volume even always has to be an even number. Like the I, volume? if I see volume, yeah, like in a car, a dial, oh. I'd rather see the dial just like go oh. without seeing a number. I'll put it on an even number. Is that weird? <laughs> 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 like any, I'd rather not see the number uh. correlated with the volume. Yeah, because so, then just put it on. So when did when did you start doing that? Do you remember? I mean, I definitely know I was a. Like, like a kid. Kid. I'm saying like middle school. Like yeah. Where you actually, like if your parents left you alone and could watch TV, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> yeah, speaking yeah. TV kind of thing. <laughs> and I was, yeah, it's like an even number. Wow. I know. Well, I, yeah, I was telling what does that mean? on another episode that, um, you know, another guest on that I, it was like in middle school too. And for some reason I kept looking at the clock and it would be like 1113, 1213. Yes. One thirteen, And then something that day would just go wrong. And I felt like it was every time. And I was like, no. I'm like, wait, I can't look at the clock. I can't look at the clock. And now that we're older and all we hear is like, if you see repeating numbers, that means something so special. I'm like, oh. (laughs) Does it? I think it's like my head just... (laughs) Yeah, the evens. Yeah, it was like really strange. I don't... Yeah. But I'm not scared of even numbers. Or odds. Yeah. It just... My old screen name had a 13 in it. Like... (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Uh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, let's hear your neighbor stories. What's been going on here in Kanchi? I think Kanchi's a great town. There's great neighbors. So mm-hmm. I like I've been here probably 
it's nine years coming up and when the first day I moved in, you know, I was scared, bought a house young, yeah. settled everything a little nerve wracking that like day. You're taking days off of work and there was an old man that approached me. Okay. Mr. B. Mr. B. And so like, hey, how are you? I guess hi, like nice and then I went to work, came home. There was a gas tank on my porch, written in scrap, like, Welcome to the best street in town. Mr. B, look in your garage or look in your shed. Aww. So as I went to the shed, there was this old I think it might be older than me. Yeah. Lawnmower. <laughs> It is still a lawnmower I use, but I was just kind of a freaked out, but also like yeah. this is how I kind of grew up with great neighbors. But hmm. I'm the adult now. Yeah, I think for me, if I saw that and I lived by myself, mm-hmm. I thought I'm going to come home and there's not going to be a house. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <Beaver> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Meanwhile, me like I don't even my head didn't go that way until or, like. Three years later, yeah. he's still a great constant in my Aww. life. But I would say a lot to him, like, you know my schedule. You're going to kill me if you're going to kill me. He's yeah. like, I'm not going to kill you. I'm like, I just, you know, when I you leave for work. Yeah. yeah. But then you find out more and more about a story. Like, his wife had passed right before I'd come. Oh. And he lived. There. he's lived there for, like, he's the original owner of those. Not the original owner, but, like, one of the... One of the Top three. Yeah. Like the old man on the block. Yeah. Let's call him the mayor. Okay. <laughs> he's the mayor. He right knows, under you knee. He says hello to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So then I kind of thought it was just, it's always been like a nice little relationship we've had. Oh. So how old is this neighbor of yours? I, you know, when you have like a young 80 and an old 80, mm-hmm. he's not like 80, but I, he's definitely in his 70s. Okay. I think he's high 70s now yeah he's gotta be yeah but he's always seemed old to me okay you know what i mean Mm -hmm. but yeah i think high 70 i think somewhere around there but he's alone like his son lives loneliness that yeah my mom would always say like loneliness is the worst so like i've really tried to be yeah especially if you know his son isn't Close that close he lives in georgia he's in georgia went to emory never came home Wow. I know. He comes and visits, but like. Yeah, still. And the I mean, wife was from Scotland. So I never no met way. her, but she like loved gardening. So he like, as I said, I was a florist, but I came from gardening background. Yeah. But like, yeah, I think he like connected with me for that. He's giving me a lot of his wife's stuff. Oh. I know. At least it's getting used. He's that's, a whoopee. That's nice that he lent it to you. For well, good. I'm still using that. <laughs> I'm still using that. <laughs> and when that. I mean lent, I mean. <laughs> dropped his junk off in my permanent yeah Yeah. i always think sometimes (laughs) i'm using that old lawnmower it's like i could have bought a really cheap nice one but now i'm using this old well it still works right i was i never mowed the lawn until that till this one so like Um, i was the kid it was like get away from that lawnmower don't touch it yeah yeah now i'm moving this but now i i know it's i know i'd be a little nervous yeah gonna like explode it's 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 got its moments but now i know yeah so okay you know it's mr b for you and he introduced um himself as mr b or are we so are we hiding his full last name i'm not hiding his name but i guess because i felt so young still to call someone like he would write he would sign he always puts notes in my mailbox not always like but I would also bake stuff for him. Like, it was a mutual, but he would sign it Mr. B. But his name was, like, he would, everyone else calls him, say it's Fred. Yeah. But I don't know. I just kind of was young, and I always had a mom that was just always, don't call adults by their first name, yeah. which is so old school. But I just kind of let it go. Okay. I think I'm the only one that calls him Mr. B, but now I'm not going to hey, change it's it. Good thing, yeah. Yeah. He knows. Yeah. I don't, that's it. It's Mr. B. Oh my god! Didn't find out his last name until like three years later, but ah. but yeah. Has he done anything else where he's like dropped off stuff and yeah, or or is it like a kind of like a running joke of like check the shed, check the shed? Well, he definitely doesn't go in the shed anymore. Um, Leave it locked. I don't even care about that. To oh. be well, don't get me, listeners. But uh, <laughs> I think so. I bought the house and it had a six foot fence, but it was crappy. Okay. 
it stinks how much money fences cost. Yeah. But then it kind of rolls into like my fence. I shared it with another neighbor and then Mr. B was the neighbor, other neighbor After of him. That. Okay. So there was always like that fence kind of mm-hmm. physically, but then I actually bought a new fence when it got really bad with the other neighbor because yeah. I wanted a line in the sand. Yeah. Like this is my yard. Mm-hmm. So Mr. B, he's more of the front yard, mm-hmm. sits on his porch. Did something happen for you to, <laughs> for you to, I guess, you know, really get a new fence to make your... Well, usually you buy a fence with your neighbor and you go in on that shared side. Okay. But then I felt like, yeah, there was definitely, it took me a while to realize what had happened, but something had definitely happened between me and my next door. Oh, no. Shared wall neighbor. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And it took me probably a couple years later to realize that good old Mr. V, it's like the generations are different. He's an old school, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you kind of do help out each other, but I feel like we're young and you really have your lines in the sand, not in a bad way, but you're just, and my one neighbor loved his yard. Leaf blower every day, spring, summer, fall, winter. Wow. Nothing, dirt couldn't even stay on that lawn, okay? <laughs> oh my God. I'm a gardener and I do like more natural, yeah, yeah, and certain leaves in the winter, good for the the beds the next year but um yeah i figured out mr b had moved a fireplace onto my yard i didn't really realize a fireplace like a pit like a fire pit oh oh, you know yeah yeah, yeah. i didn't realize i just kind of would check the backyard thinking what the heck is this like yeah so i moved it or it's like the other way no he it was on my property i i just moved it back also it's kind of weird to put something on it wasn't even the grass. It's not that I have grass. It's mm-hmm. a carport. So it's, he put it on somewhere where I would park cement. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. I moved it. I truly believe that was the start of this neighbor, like, having attitude towards me. Wow. And it was, like, little things you could just see. And was this, like, a time in between when... You had the old fence and you, Mm -hmm. like it was taken down at that point? No, the fence was like. It was still the old. It was still the old fence. It was. So he just like walked around the front and then. Yeah. Dropped it in the back. Okay. He definitely was. Yeah. There's alleyways back here. So he was definitely fooling around the alleyway. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. And like you're not back in your alleyway unless you park back there. Right. Uh, Yeah. Okay. So I would have definitely gotten rid of that fence and just had a lawn. Yeah. But I think just started to accumulate. And I'm like, I want a line as well. There's also a disrespect of like, he was a guy, I was a girl. We're both single. If then I had a guy in the house, like he would never disrespect. Like the neighbor could Mm. never speak to me the way if I was there alone, it was like a whole other thing. And text messages. Like really aggressive, mean text messages to me. It was like crazy. But then he would start dating, then he had a wife, and it was like, she would be nice to me, and then if he wasn't there, it was so, wow. I'm so That's happy like it's very, over. like, very, like, hot, cold. It was, he was controlling. And it was crazy when you, so you don't know your neighbors, but you, you're living next to them 24-7. Yeah. So how do you not know you actually not? what is going on? Right. And um, control, oh, the words doors. control. Yeah. Um, so when this first happened, he was single at the time, Mm -hmm. is that right? And then over time, I guess, just kind of became this back and forth, like... Because then I didn't, I didn't care for it. Yeah. So then I stopped. I don't want to talk to you. Like, it's, I didn't like how I was acting. It stunk. Like, people in my life knew about this. It was an ongoing... Like, battle. And he moved, like, right before COVID, which was... Oh. Thank you. Or in COVID. Okay. Mm-hmm. And how did he have your number? Was that just because, like, everyone your neighbors had? Yeah. Like, back in the yeah. day, it was like, I mean, I... Yeah. Yeah, but I would... We would drink on the porch. We would have right. fun together. It was... Like, some... That's why I had right. to realize something happened. And I truly believe it was Mr. B because now, years later... Uh-huh. 
Mr. B did the same thing with the new neighbor, but then I don't care. <laughs> okay, let's take a quick break. For a limited time only, you'll have free access to my coffee page. No, not actual coffee. This is a place for all exclusive content that won't be on my Instagram or Facebook accounts. Check out sneak peeks, behind the scenes, extra audio clips, and much more. Just have a tap on my link tree, look out for that coffee cup icon, and boom, you'll be on your way. I'm like, Mr. B, you're a great guy, but what are you doing? You can't be doing this. You can't be doing this. And now everyone has cameras. Oh, yeah. So, not that I do, but like, what are you doing? (laughs) Like, he's such a great guy, but I truly believe he caused this This unintentional... Yeah. It was like we were both like defensive then almost. Yeah. What kind were there any like words exchanged out loud <laughs> outside? You know, I think I'm a, Why do you marry? Uh, no, nothing crazy. Very oh. it was so passive aggressive. That's uh, what we, like it would that's internally the worst like kind, I feel like. It is because it feels it's, like yeah. Right. I feel like we're girls and we've dealt with mean girls in high school. I don't think guys have dealt with mean girls, but I'm like are you, are you really you, doing this? Are you the mean girl? Are you yeah, are the mean he girl. Is the mean girl. And so... Maybe he was bullied. Oh, he was... Uh, it was control. Know? The word yeah. capital control. The last... I think it was COVID. We're all home now. Mm-hmm. It's interesting where you should love your neighbors at this point. Um, and... Well, so it's kind of like snowstorms are interesting when you live really cl- on top of each other yeah they really bring people together and you i grew up like you would shovel an older person's you would help out yeah. or if the, the line ends there you still you shovel still keep, you go another foot everyone does two. that everyone in the street on the street does that except him it would be like straight up to the where the sidewalk ends where me and him can meet wouldn't even help out the older man like mr b's older i don't want him outside and then i had an older woman as well on the other side but like very it would just like matters but so yeah at the end of like in that first year of covid um you could just watch everything and (laughs) i started realizing because i couldn't really see like it's not like i could really watch him in the backyard but trees on my property this is how petty it got oh, no. trees on my property okay would drop like everyone's leaves drop mine weren't not leaves it was like arborvitaes if you know what those are no nope. <laughs> no nope. it's those like big yeah you'll you'll know what I'm, but yeah i would see him first i noticed like what's flying over the <laughs> fence and then you're like oh my god he's picking up no. debris from no. his yard and throwing it over a six foot fence and he was a little guy over onto my side so that's that so rude. was so that's what i thought again i'm a good person but like what are what you the doing fuck? <laughs> and i thought his wife was a nice person but like i i had approached i didn't approach her but if there, there was yeah. a moment it was like what's going on and on Halloween, do you know you guys get a lot of trick or treaters here? Because yeah. it's insane on our street. Yeah, a lot of Halloween. She would talk to me, like it was just so bizarre. It's not. It wasn't. It was eating at me too. It's not fun to deal with this. Yeah, you want a good neighbor, or you want a neighbor that just doesn't bother. Especially the fact that it's literally next door, like adjacent to your house. You hear them like, go up the stairs. The time. Yeah, so <sighs> it's not like. Yeah, they're like a few doors down where yeah. it's like whatever. Like, you, no, this is like constant interaction. Even if you want to avoid them, you'll hear them go to bed. Like yeah. they're stairs. Next house I'll go. Yeah. Shared wall. But yeah, so basically like one morning, I don't have a bra on or anything. Yeah. I saw this happening like after like weeks. How early in the morning was it? Like probably like eight in. Not like okay. crazy. Seven, seven o'clock hour. I just go out and I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, my kid's eating this. Now he had a kid. So he had a kid in COVID. My kid's out here and he's eating, putting this in his mouth. I go, you're throwing stuff. You're throwing, tr- now I'm calling it trash. You're throwing <laughs> trash over on my side of the fence. Like, what? And he's like, 
my kid's eating this, getting in his mouth. It's like, so he just kept repeating what he was saying. But he used his kid. And he had the, As, le- and he guess what he had in his hand? The leaf blower. So he turned the leaf blower on because he, he couldn't. I, I don't like confrontation, but don't do that. Do not. I never want to feel walked over. Yeah. And well, turn that leaf blower on. And there was not the, like a, in your head, you're like, I would have said this, this, this. And at least it's like I got out there and he never good. did it again. Oh, good. Oh, but he, but he moved. Not because of that, clearly. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Like, but, yeah. Um, That's wild. Didn't even say goodbye kind of thing. Like, But it was COVID because they owned a... He, he was a very lucky guy to have yeah. a house and then be able to, for months, sell, like, clear his house out. There was no rushing of... Oh, he had okay. two houses at yeah, one time yeah, yeah. for, like, a couple... Okay. Like, almost a year. Yeah, to use your kid as an excuse of what you're doing. Right. That doesn't cut it. I don't care about your fucking kid. Right. <laughs> and I'm like... This is my property. And I, we love and our neighbor. Yeah. We love our another neighbor. He's got the biggest oak tree ever. So you're going to go collect his oak leaves and go put them in his yard? Yeah. Like it was, and it's like it if was, you're going to move them, yeah, use the leaf blower that's <sighs> in your hand or... I don't know. Grab a trash bag and put the leaves weird. in there or, you know, the, the Lowe's bags, whatever. Right. The way I started actually seeing it, too, was he would, I would see all my gardens shake because he was just blowing underneath oh. the fence constantly, which that doesn't bother me. I would just kind of look at, there's something like, is that OCD? Like, I was like, is that OCD? Yeah. Something was like, yeah. To, I was now observing. For sure, yeah. <laughs> and I was Because maybe, to... yeah. And I th- honestly, I feel like this comes up a lot, like, in some of this season's episode, cause, episodes, because, yeah, you don't know if there's some mental health issues going on or, like, why these people are acting the way they are. And what's so, setting them off. Right. Like, like why... Why are you doing this? And I was just, it just started. It did start from day one. Mm-hmm. And I even was like, I'm, I'm new to owning a house. Like, I'm trying the best I can. Yeah. But I didn't really like think I, anything was like wrong. ever on his property, yeah. ever wrong. And yeah. then it was, it wow. just kept building. Yeah. He had mice in his house and he blamed me. I'm like, I don't get mice in my house. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Go knock on Mr. B's I I know. Well, Mr. B and him then got into it. They had words. Oh, no. I don't, wasn't there for that, nor did I want to be, but. Yeah. The disrespect to, like, an elder who's really not, he's He's just. There's just mind him his own business. He's not bad. He's trying to do the good here. Right. Yeah. Oh, Mr. B. I know. Mr. B is. People in my life know Mr. B. Yeah. But yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. And so so now you have new neighbors mm-hmm. and they're cool. They're young. They're, they're playing young. house. Yeah. They're cute, yeah. They're playing house. You know the young ones. Are they rent is No, they bought uh, oh, in oh, COVID, yeah. Okay. I'm surprised the previous owner didn't rent it if he had yeah. You know, mm. The extra that is money. I know that is interesting. I mean, but like, look at the prices of houses. Like, oh my god, don't get me. He started. ended up. You know, it's crazy <laughs> too. He ended up moving. My friends, my good friend. Yeah. A lot of people moved. You know, mm-hmm. and my good friend moved into the same neighborhood that they both moved the same like month into the same neighborhood. How did you figure that out? I figured it out because <laughs> there's other neighbors like that. We all we don't talk, but. Just about where you're I going. quietly let yeah. other neighbors realize like I wasn't I don't want to talk shit on a neighbor nor do I want to cause a high school street to happen yeah but people would start to say stuff and I would kind of like roll my eyes like well imagine living next to it little yeah. comments like yeah, that yeah, yeah but then like they had said where they lived and I uh, thought to myself wait that's exactly where uh, my friend how wild. and the wife said something to me too because yeah. we did chat when yeah. she would be running or like somewhere, but so that's interesting. But that sat aside out of mind, so I don't. Really, I don't really think about it anymore. But yeah. to bring it up, it's it sucked. Bad neighbor sucked. Yeah, but I wonder what he would say on a podcast. <laughs> we'll get a different story. <laughs> I no. know. I know. Yeah. Whatever. 
I know it is interesting yeah, to hear like another side of the story that would be like I don't know at least what you see on TV it's like completely different or like I'm like were you there like where were you right <laughs> you know like what goes on I uh, at the end like I started putting notes down I had to yeah but then that makes you over psychic so I then yeah, I had yeah, to stop yeah. but just in case there was like a, a confrontation bigger, yeah. that I was going to be you had xyz right like, you had because you never know like how like is this gonna escalate into something bigger I mean it was cops like, involved like you don't know it was to the cars parking on the street I mean I'm telling you I could oh go into it but gosh. it was it was so much of passive aggressive stuff it's awful like the shared wall on the porch like him putting something on there. You cannot there. put your decorations on was, this side yeah. of the railing. I'm telling you, it was like, you could see the line of him cleaning, but like, it was a oh. foot long, but he would have, he cleaned a line and left my side. It was. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Well, you got through it. Sure did. And you have new neighbors. New neighbors. No, Mr. B is still there. Mr. B is still there. Thank you, Mr. B. Mm-hmm. Um, no, this was this was good. This was interesting stories. You know what goes on in Kanchi. I know what else goes on. Um, yeah, I well, think I have it good compared to other stories sometimes. Yeah. Um, well, thank you for coming on, and sharing these with us. Um, if people want to get in touch with you and share another country story, where would they go about doing so? Do you? Well, I think I just have to direct you to my floral business. Yeah. Um, it's Pickles and Posies. Ooh, Pickles yeah. and Posies. Okay. So you can check it out on Instagram. Okay. Um, and yeah, that's where you can find me. Perfect. I don't really do much other on social. Great. I love it. Gotta do that for business. <laughs> well, I hope everyone found connection here with Kristen's weird neighbor story. Um, I think in our lifetime, we all have, we all are going to have some kind of weird story to share about our neighbors because it's just bound to happen. But um, yeah. we will catch everyone next week. See ya. Thanks. Bye. All right, my friends, thanks for listening and be sure to listen to new episodes on your preferred platform. Stay up to date with my podcast by going to my Instagram or Facebook accounts at The Big Dane Podcast. Interested in being a guest? Just go to my link tree, tap on Be a Guest, and fill out the form. All right, catch you next week.